If you have control issues, you're going to love this video. This video has been made possible by RenderHub.com, the premier site for selling and buying your 3D related content, such as 3D models, HDRI files, sound effects, textures, print ready models, and much, much more. Okay, everybody, well, we're on the Genie Voice Command website. And um, yeah, it's a, a voice command system, as mentioned, for ZBrush and Maya Autodesk. Now, Maya is available for purchase. I think ZBrush is uh, almost available. Uh, let me just check out the purchase page here. But what I can tell you, yeah, there you go. ZBrush is coming soon. What I can tell you is that it's highly effective. It speeds up your workflow, and it's way, way, way too cheap. Trust me. And I gotta be honest here, I'm not getting paid one cent for this. I just think that Heather is amazing. She is uh, very intelligent. She created all this. It's very helpful for people that have a disability to still let them work in Maya and ZBrush. And for people that don't have a disability but just want to speed up their workflow by 50 to 70%, right? It's awesome for them too. Okay, well, before we go any further, let me show you a demo of Heather using the app so you get a better idea of what you can actually do with it, right? Here we go. Wait. I am listening. Create polygon cube. Shaded. Bevel. Attribute editor. Channel box. Delete history. Freeze transformation. Face. Extrude, high grid, two edge loop, bevel, attribute editor, edge, two edge loop, soften edge, vertex. Okay, so we've seen Heather uh, do the demo, and uh, you're probably thinking, well, yeah, but she created the thing, so it's no wonder that she's fast at it. But uh, let's uh, try this with somebody who has zero experience. I literally didn't touch the thing. And let's see if it's intuitive, right? So I um, installed it. It's now in the top menu up there. It's called voice control. So I'm just going to go up there, voice control, and I'm going to click on activate voice command. That kind of sounds... That kind of makes sense, right? Voice control ready for Maya 2020. Purchased by McHermes. Oh, there you go. I am listening. Okay, cool. So she's listening. All right. And there's the thing that we saw in the demo there. I assume. Uh, okay, so we got wake. Wake and sleep. Yeah. So I need to be careful what I'm saying here because I don't want it to respond. So I'm just going to click on wake. I am already awake. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, lady. Yeah. All right. Let's do something. Um, Create polygon cube. There you go. All right, let's go in here. Um, face. Extrude. Um, edge. Bevel. Object. Duplicate. Move. Mm. Rotate. Scale. Attribute editor. Assign new material. Uh, channel box. Close channel box. Close attribute editor. Delete object. This is so cool. Sleep. Now sleeping. Say wake for me to start listening. Is that cool or what? 
Now, like I said, I have zero experience using this app, but it is quite intuitive. And I spoke with Heather and she told me that the reason why it's intuitive is basically all the commands you're using are uh, named exactly the way they're named, you know, when you're working in Maya. And because I tend to call them out while I'm doing my videos, I got them all in my head. So that's kind of neat, right? So um, yeah, it, uh, it works. Now I'm all for innovations like this, especially if they work well and it looks like uh, they do. And uh, if you want to check out how the version works in ZBrush, my good friend uh, Henry Cervenka did a guest tutorial series on my channel, uh, making a, uh, a, a grid loader, big yellow machine road work thing, whatever. Uh, anyway, he did an amazing job and he was a beta tester for the ZBrush app. So if you want to check out how that works, uh, check out those videos and I'll put that up in the in the screen there, right? So, okay, so this probably is like 800 bucks or something, right? Well, trust me, it is not. Uh, and I asked Heather, really, do you want to go that low in price? Uh, let's go to the website and I'll show you. Now, based on the pricing down here, and we're going to look at Maya just now because this is all about Maya. Um, there are two versions. You have the 5300 and the 1600. Now that means that the 5300 version responds to 5300 different commands and the 1600 to 1600. One is 50 bucks, the other is 25. Yes, you heard me right, 50 bucks and 25 bucks, right? So there's no excuse for you not to get one of these and play around with it. Okay, everybody, well, in conclusion, uh, Heather knows her way around this app, which makes sense because she created it, but I showed you how intuitive it is because without any experience whatsoever, I uh, managed to uh, do something, right? Now, uh, that's pretty cool. I think it's very cool that it will help those with a disability to be more efficient in Maya. Uh, I think it's very cool because it will help people to work way, way faster in Maya. And I can't wait to work in the ZBrush equivalent. I know it's available. Um, I at least got a login for it. So I'm gonna be playing with that as well, okay? And uh, yeah, that said, uh, check it out. Please let me know in the comments what you think. If you have any issues with the application, uh, leave a comment below and I will help you or I will get you in contact with Heather, right? So show a fellow artist some support and check this out. All right, thanks for watching, bye.